BTS studio in beautiful downtown Santa Clarita. We're here every Thursday at 12 p.m. on AM 1220 and 98.1 FM. So to join me today, I have Samantha Davis, who is a woman's wellness expert and a dear friend of mine. And we're going to talk all about how the conventional approach to marital help and healing and saving our relationships is flawed and what we can do about it, why it's not working, and um, what the approaches are that will actually help us to save our relationships and to become much more empowered than most people are when they seek help in this arena. So Samantha is, as I said earlier, a woman's wellness expert, and she has a book coming out. She's got a book tour coming out in September, which is super exciting. So Samantha, can you tell me a little bit about your book? Yes. Well, first of all, thank you for having me back. Always love to be here. Um, so the book, we, uh, you know, this has been a long time coming. I've, you know, doula pun have been joking that I'm birthing this new thing, right? Mm -hmm. And it's been like a five-year pregnancy. <laughs> so I've been working on this for a long time and we're finally launching. Um, we're expected an early release in August and the book will officially launch and the tour will in September. Um, basically what we've created, I keep saying we because I have this amazing team of people who are always supporting me and helping me, but it is actually just my work, right? So what I've created is a way for women to use tools to do the deep work that gives them the results they're looking for, right? Perfect, which is the topic that we're talking today yeah. about today. Exactly. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. So this is right up your alley, girl. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. I love it. What I want to just put out there is a couple of statistics at first. Okay. okay. So our divorce rates right now are between 40 and 50%. So that means for every 100 marriages, 40 to 50 of them end in divorce. Now, further than that is that 30% of those ones that do not get divorced are settling in unhappiness and depression. So what that means is that there's really only 20% or 20 out of those 100 that have figured it out that are feeling good and actually thriving. So it's very clear that we have an epidemic happening. This is something that is not just, um, you know, a few, you know, cases here and there, but it's an epidemic. Something's not working. And because of this epidemic, we have a result of a new trend where we have uh, many, many couples that are engaging in relationship, even having children together, and they're just not getting married. You know, this, there's some fears of commitment that are happening because of this. And so there's all of these things that are repercussions of what's going on. And for me, as a relationship coach and working in this arena for the past 10 years or so, um, it's so important to me to really actually deliver results. And so when people come to me, I talk to them about how to get results. And it's that that is important. It's not just, um, you know, a few, there are a few different things that we can do. So most people, actually, this is, this is another statistic. Most people don't seek help in their marriage until about six or six to eight years of struggling. You know, so that means, and that's first the six to eight years of struggle, that's when they're trying to read books and they're gathering information and they're talking to their friends and they're looking for um, answers and um, looking for out other resources other than getting help. Because it does take a, a good amount of humility to say, okay, I need help, which to me is crazy. Yeah. Right? Because we unless we are we, unless we are raised in a perfect model of thriving relationship and thriving romantic love we're not going to have that we're not going to have those tools we're not going to have right. that model so if we're not going to if we don't have that model going into our relationships then we need to get help we need to get that model and instead of people being proactive about it they are reactive about it and they usually don't come until they're at the brink of divorce or the brink of just settling and things getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. You know, and 30%, that's a big number that are just settling. That tells me what I'm hearing you say is that anyone who hears the statistic, right? Mm -hmm. You're either one of two things. You're either 
hoping that you're going to get lucky and end up in the 10 to 20% and that's just not going to happen to you and it's not going to be your experience, right? Mm -hmm. Or you have a choice to do something about it. One of the two yeah. really is what it comes down to. Right. And so then, it, then people are saying, okay, six to eight years I've been struggling. Now let me reach out for help, mm -hmm. which bravo, that's like such a big step, right? Right. But it takes a long time to get there because we're not taught these tools, right? Right. You yeah. don't get taught this as a child in school, even in college. They're not teaching this. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Something that I do actually at the um, local um, homeschool center, the enrichment center in my in Santa Clarita, is I actually do teach a group of um, high schoolers mm -hmm. all about these relationship tools and That's incredible. how to resolve conflict. And you know, I really want to empower them so that they're coming at it from a proactive approach. And it's such a rewarding thing. I do it just for, um, you know, my service and giving back because, again, I want to change this epidemic. It's so important to me because we need to see, I feel called to uplift the world in whatever small or big way that I can. Right. And if I have the tools and the understanding that I want to put it out there, you know, just like you're doing with your book. Yep. <laughs> I hear you, girl. I think that, you know, the nobody else is going to change this model. It takes specific people who are called to the work mm -hmm. to say, okay, I'm going to do something about this. Because the only people who ever do change the world are the people who think they're crazy enough to actually do it, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And the ones that can do the work themselves. Oh, yeah. You it know? starts with us. We always yeah. have to lead ourselves first, right. right? Yeah. I mean, it's no secret that I came from a troubled childhood. You as well, right? Yeah. And so I had a lot of stuff that I had to work through and to overcome and to understand and to um, just get into the depth of who I am and how I can actually be in charge of the reality that's in front of me, right. which is very different from what we're taught. We're kind of conditioned to believe that we have to deal with what's in front of us. And in a way that is true, but also in another way, yeah. we have a lot more power than we give ourselves credit for. Yeah, absolutely. And you taught me that. I learned so much through that model of you know, working on things and trying to make a difference and have a different experience. Right, right. So you, I have put together the Legendary Love Program, which yes. is essentially this program that really goes through giving everything that, that we need to create results. So it's not just about venting mm -hmm. and it's not just about reading or gathering information, but it's actually about integrating the changes that you want to make into yourself yeah. first yeah. and then into the relationship. And that's yeah. the other thing that is important. Like I said, you and I had to do that inner work first before we can really make a change in the world, before we can have a an effect because otherwise I'll be operating from some of my old programming still. Mm -hmm. And when conflicts come up, then automatically, just on autopilot, I'll react from that. Yeah. And then I'm even though I want to do better, even though I know I can or or I, I resonate with being better or being different, I'm not actually being that way because I haven't taken responsibility for really changing that conditioning that I was given as a child. Right. Yeah. Mm, that's powerful. So something that you and I have that's helped me still to this day that I do on a regular basis, and I think this is really a lot of what you're talking about, is every single time I find myself frustrated with my partner or my child, anyone you're in any type of relationship with, I stop and say, what is my responsibility in this? If I'm frustrated with them, there's something coming up, and what is this lesson designed to teach me? Yes. I'm so glad you remember that. I mean, yeah. that's probably part of my daily life, mm -hmm. right? There's a few things that I've kept for years and that I picked up that just they're tools that will serve you lifelong. And that is absolutely one of them. Mm -hmm. and when we take responsibility for these are my emotions, these are my feelings, it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing or not doing. I'm responsible for my reaction. Right. That's absolutely right. Super, yes. super yes. powerful. That's changed everything for me. Right. Because the thing is, is that we, we will, we are energetic beings, right? And so I will affect you with the energy that I am coming at you with. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. And if you are not strong enough in your own energy to, um, 
to not let me affect you negatively, then I will absolutely get into your wounds, get into your trigger points and, and make you react from that negative energy as well, mm -hmm. you know? And so the, the most essential thing that we need to learn when we start doing this work and actually integrating is taking responsibility for the me part of the relationship, the mm -hmm. just my territory, my domain, and then to focus on the relationship. You know, yeah. so, so let's talk about it. So most yeah. people, like we said, that they, they go into um, self-help and it takes six to eight years or so before they reach out and they're reactive, yeah. right? So one way to change this is to get proactive. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. So if we start to notice that, number one, hey, you know what? I didn't have the best model of love or maybe I still don't or maybe, uh, you know, I wasn't taught that as a child early on. So that's a clue that I might struggle in a relationship. Right. Then we look at our spouse. Did my spouse? spouse have a good model of relationship and, and love and marriage and his and his parents in the, the parents model for him. Right. And if the answer is no, then there's another clue that we might have a hard time. Mm -hmm. The third clue is we start struggling, start having a hard time. Don't wait. Okay. Because there is, there is information out there in books and things like mm -hmm. that, that would be essential and could make a difference. But Gathering information alone is not enough. No. You know, um, we have to, that's just going to give us surface level knowledge. The important piece that we need is to actually integrate this information Apply. into yes. our new way of being. Yeah. So we need structure, we need tools, we need application process for that. Um, and then, the, so then when we go and we reach out for help, it's important that when you look for help, don't just look for, there's plenty, the conventional approach trains, uh, practitioners to be a beautiful, sacred space to, to listen without judgment so that you can vent and release all of these, um, emotions and these feelings without getting attacked back by your partner, right? right? Which is so essential. Now that, that step is a very important step. And sometimes you can only get that from a practitioner in the field. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you can get it from a really good friend, mm -hmm. you know, who Absolutely. can listen without actually judging your spouse or your partner and actually just listen and help you hold space and help you sort of work out some of those early um, things that are going on. Mm -hmm. But that's not enough no. because this is, this is just venting. This is letting go of the charge that is elevating your uh, emotional reaction into negative territory. So it is important to vent and to release that negative charge. But then after that, if you don't do more than that, you end up just repeating that same pattern over and over. And yeah. you don't really gain progress no, and it almost becomes a habit. Like, I'm upset. Let me call a girlfriend and vent about this, or let me go pay my therapist to listen to me. Mm -hmm. And every time I'm upset, that's going to be my coping mechanism. That's what I'm going to do instead of working on changing it. Yeah, because the one beautiful thing that a therapist can do or a practitioner of any sort will will allow you to vent without being judged, right? right? So you can say anything. Right. And that's important. And it right. may, the, the, the negative thing that it will do is it makes you feel like, my emotions are valid or that my perspective is valid or that, mm -hmm. um, there's that they're, that I'm right and they're wrong. Right. Right. Yes. And that's that negative piece because while our perspective is always valid, we have two different, um, perspectives that are both valid because they're both coming from, um, I'm coming from my perspective, from my childhood, from the wounds, from the fears, from the things I've learned to protect myself from, um, for my model of what I want love to be, yeah. all of that. And that makes my perspective valid, right. but the same is happening on their side. Yeah. And so when I get validated in, in the sense that I'm right and they're wrong, mm -hmm. then we're not really going forward. Then I just keep needing this coping mechanism to release, release, release. And I don't move forward if I really want to change. So I'm the, I'm the type of person who wants to take dramatic ownership of my world yes. and create changes and move forward, you know? And so early on in my life, when I went and sought help, I was very frustrated because it was, um, I wanted guidance. 
I wanted, um, I didn't want to just come up with my own answers because I, well, that that is valid and I should resonate with what is important to me mm-hmm. and what makes sense to me. I mean, that's always a truth across the board, no matter what. I want a good model to follow. You know, it's like, I didn't have that model. So show me, what is that model? What does it look like? Yeah. What do I need to do? What yeah. are the action steps? Can I ask a question? Can you give me feedback? Yeah. You know, and all of those things. And that's just wasn't provided in, in that scenario. So it took me actually diving in and having to go through all of my education and schooling um, to really figure out all of that stuff. And that is why, you know, I stepped into this field right. as a relationship coach, and it, which is very different from um, a, a therapist or a counselor because I am the person that will provide the tools, that will provide the feedback, that will give that direct guidance, that will give that model and all of that. Yeah. And that's a big difference. Um, what would you say that your experience was? Well, so you're, I mean, as a doula, holding space is something we're very big on, right? And I always used to joke and call you my relationship doula, right? Mm -hmm. Because you do hold space, but you're also giving the power back, which is also my role, to give the power back to you to make the decisions that you can take ownership of, right? Mm -hmm. So when I describe your work, and this is my perspective, Mm -hmm. I explain it as a program for higher achievers, For people who don't want, you know, the traditional model can work. It can. It just, I think of how quickly do I get the result that I want? Do I want to spend years in therapy and years of financial investment and years of dragging through this pain to work through it before I finally find the solutions and work through it on my own? Or do I want to work with a coach who's going to hold me accountable, give me direction, show me the way, walk by my side step by step, Mm -hmm. right, to get me to the result that I want the quickest. I'm looking for change. I'm looking for evolution, right? Mm -hmm. So that is what, so, you know, I tell, I had a girlfriend who recently, not too long ago, I referred to you who had said, hey, you know, like, I really don't want to lay on the couch and talk about my childhood issues. And I said, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the root of the cause. Let's find the solution. Let's do the work and let's get results, right? Because we're ready to like take control and move on with our mm-hmm. lives. Mm-hmm. Who wants to sit there and like just hash up their old crap and talk about old memories forever? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't really do us much good. It doesn't you know? serve you because in the way that you if deserve. If we're just staying in that old conditioning and those old thoughts without actually changing or transitioning them mm-hmm. and moving them forward, mm-hmm. then we're actually reinforcing them. Absolutely. We're actually doing the opposite of what we want because then we're saying, oh yeah, I didn't feel loved or oh mm-hmm. yeah, they should have done this. Yeah. You know? And instead of saying, um, like really just saying, okay, well let's, what, where was my responsibility in that? Mm-hmm. Where did I see things differently, you know? And so, you know, one of the things that I do, the only time that we actually did talk about childhood stuff is in our deep healing sessions. Right. So here's the difference in my experience with that. There's a difference between hashing it back up, having to relive it, having to feel it and think about it and kind of be stuck in that, right? Versus actually doing the work that moves that trauma out of your body. Right. Physically, right? Because we store emotions down and we store trauma down in our central nervous system, right? So Mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know this, but your amygdala is this incredible, incredible organ in your body, right? So the amygdala will smell scents, right? Or um, there will be an emotion, something that happens, right? And this will go through our central nervous system and actually send signals down into our body and bind to our cell receptors with a belief, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's just like me telling my mouth to move or my hands to move or me to sit and breathe and speak in this chair with you, right? Mm-hmm. We're still sending the same signals through our body. Right. So if you're sending those emotional turmoil signals through your body and leaving them there, leaving them down in there and storing them and pretending they don't exist, you're going to have years of trauma just sitting inside of you waiting to be released until you're triggered. Mm-hmm. Right? It's horrible versus doing these deep healing sessions to actually remove and create new beliefs and new thought patterns and new emotions binding to those yes. cell receptors. And it doesn't have to take weeks and weeks and weeks and years and years and years. No. We can do that in a single session. Absolutely. You know? And that's why it is so impactful and powerful. Yeah. And you and know me, I'm all about the result, girl. Yes, I'm like, let's do yes, this session. Yes. I'll sleep it off for a day or two and I'll come back good as new. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, then it's all about reinforcing after that. Absolutely. But, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to 
uh, we're going to take a quick break. And yeah. then right after the break, we're going to talk all about exactly what we need to create lasting change. So mm -hmm. what are the essential elements and how do we look for them? How do we find them when we're reaching out for help? Mm -hmm. So this is Jessica Hartley. You're listening to Thriving Relationships and we'll be right back. The city of Santa Clarita has so much going on this year. Be on the lookout for amazing events happening throughout the year, including the Cowboy Festival, concerts in the park, Thursdays at Newhall, and the Santa Clarita Marathon. There are also a number of fun activities and things to do year-round, including outdoor recreation, hiking and bike trails, adult classes, art exhibits, youth sports programs, and more. You can even sign up to be a volunteer. Learn more at santa-clarita.com. Pure Births Pregnancy and Wellness is Santa Clarita's newest birth center, offering holistic prenatal care, water births, labor and delivery, and postpartum care. Owned and operated by California Medical Board licensed midwife Tiffany Gallo, who has been serving expected families in the SCV for over a decade. Pure Births is also a Medi-Cal birth center. If you want to experience a natural birth with the freedom to birth your way in a safe and professional environment, contact Pure Births on Tournament Road near McBean, purebirths.com. Your building sign is essential to getting customers to your location. Feathers can help you get your business noticed. Feathers, now in a new larger space with plenty of parking. They walk you through each phase of your project with special attention to detail and quality. Feathers will provide you with a sign that you can be proud of. Your sign will draw customers in instead of having them drive by. Visit Feathers online at feathersigns.com or go to Feathers' brand new bigger location at 26017 Huntington Drive off Rye Canyon or call 298-9442. We all know sometimes people lose their way. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, The Way Out Recovery SCV may have the answers you've been waiting for. The Way Out is the premier intensive outpatient treatment center serving Santa Clarita. Asking for help is the first step. Call The Way Out today, 661-296-4444. That's 296-4444 for a private free assessment. The Way Out is an accredited, affordable outpatient program that accepts most insurance. Call us at 661-296-4444 or check us out online at thewayoutrecoveryscv.com. Quit battling with yourself. Ask The Way Out for help today. Kyle, guess what's coming up? It's the KHDS Home and Garden Show at Emergency Expo. April 27th and 28th at Central Park. Free admission, mission, mission. Over one weekend, over 20,000 homeowners, Santa Clarita homeowners, visit this every single year. It's one of the biggest home shows in not just Southern California, but California. My favorite is the marketplace. It's local craft stuff. It's awesome. A lot of activities for the kids. They've got the petting zoo, pony rides. But if you want to be a part of this, there is always room for your business. That's true. And this is an opportunity that is like no other. You're going to get, like you just said, about 20,000 people over the weekend to come and check out your business. So there's still vendor opportunities available. That's the only question I have. If a vendor is listening right now and they say to themselves, that's what I want to be a part of, now what? You can call 298-1220, 298-1220, mm -hmm. or go to scvhomeshow.com. It's no secret that heavy-duty cleaning chemicals can be toxic for babies, pets, and even adults. Eco Green Clean SCV can put your worries at ease. Eco Green Clean SCV only uses organic, environmentally friendly products, reducing the risk of health issues for any age. Eco Green Cleaners uses essential oils that lend to aromatherapeutic benefits. Eco Cleaners are reliable, thorough, and all cleanings are guaranteed. Locally owned and operated by a single mom who started this organic business five years ago. For more information or to book a cleaning, call 993-9136. Your hometown station. As soon as I leave my house in Saugus, I always turn on KHTS for the latest traffic updates. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Thriving Relationships with Jessica Hartley. I'm Jessica Hartley, Relationship Coach and Founder of the Legendary Love Program. And with me today is Samantha Davis, Women's Wellness Expert, who's written an amazing book and is also a doTERRA rep, and she does so many amazing things and a uh, really great friend of mine. So we've been talking all about how 
uh, venting itself will not save our relationships and that we there's so much more to do and that when we seek help we have to be very conscious and aware of the kind of help we're seeping, seeking and looking for it in the right places making sure that we can actually be successful in the help that we're looking for and the help that we get so the first thing is to start to get more proactive about it to notice the signs hey did I have a great model did I not and when you st first start struggling if it isn't resolved or if it keeps happening or if a pattern keeps showing up get help as soon as possible. Don't wait the six to eight years where it's going to be so much harder to change all the more reinforcement of those negative feelings, those pains, those, the more that you put that, those wounds and all of that stuff piled, piled onto the relationship. Yeah. You will have more success the earlier that you go to seek help. So get proactive. Even if it's like, hey, um, I want to just make sure, you know, that we're, let me get a tune-up. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that um, we do with our cars is every 20, 60,000 miles, we go in and we say, hey, what's running low on it? Or what needs replacement? Or where do I need a certain checkpoint? Or where can I renew? And it's the same thing with our marriages. If we don't have that kind of attitude about it, like a check-in, a checkpoint, a um, tune-up yeah. with our with our marriage and our relationship, it's going to eventually uh, get weaker and weaker. You know, we have to constantly be maintaining it and putting a focused attention on it. So even if that's you know what you're coming coming in for or reaching out for. That's good. That's awesome. Don't feel like that's a negative thing or mm -hmm. that it means that you are not enough or you can't handle it. You know, obviously, based on our statistics, you know, 40 to 50 percent of us are getting divorced and 30 percent um, that are not divorced are silently suffering. You know, so let's not pretend we're the only one. Let's, you know, say, OK, like I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to be proactive. Yeah, Absolutely. So secondly, uh, when we look for that help, when we seek it, um, look for a, a structure, a growth structure when you're looking for that help, which means, you know, here's the best analogy that I can give. When you're looking to gain a new skill, like maybe uh, you're going to work at a, a new position in a job that you have, mm -hmm. you can't just go into it and expect to be good at it, Right. You have to have a certain set of things in place in order to master that skill. So let's say that you are you want to become a nurse or a doctor or um, a ballet teacher or whatever it is. You have to go in and you have to, number one, have a mentor mm -hmm. or a model that is showing you through their example of what it takes to do this thing in the most uh, efficient, effective way possible. Right. Right. So you have to have that model to follow. Most just talk therapy is not going to give you that model. Number one. Um, number two is to go beyond information, you know, so understand and get the information. Okay. Here's the, the, here's a new model. If I didn't have the model of love growing up, then I need a new model and I need someone to show it to me. Yeah you know, um, and then start actually applying that. So a growth structure will give you not only the, the model of success, um, but will also show you action steps to take, will offer questions and answers, um, direct feedback on that growth. Um, and feedback is huge for growth and integration. If we don't get that feedback on, this is what I've done. Uh, the, here's here's where I, I here's what what happened, and here's the results of that. And then you don't get feedback on that. Let's say you're learning ballet or uh, some sort of medical profession or any profession, and you do you make a mistake. You're gonna learn the most from that mistake. You're right. going to learn the most and to being able to not do it again the next time. You know, that's how we integrate things is from uh, overcoming those mistakes, you know. So that feedback is so important. Um, having action steps, so not just getting in the information, but action steps. 
like you're providing in that book that you're writing, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it's like, here are things to do. It's not just about information. Here's the action steps. The practical application is huge. So we need direct guidance, questions and answers, practical application opportunities, action steps, whatever that is, and then tangible tools. So things that you can actually even hold and look at yeah, and visually physically go to yeah right. physically go to mm -hmm. um to help you reinforce mm -hmm. um everything that you're learning you know so all of this especially that feedback is what a growth structure is all about so it doesn't matter what kind of skill that you want to learn you need this growth structure for to to learn it in the most effective and efficient way possible right and I love how you said earlier that this, that the legendary love program is for high achievers, yeah. you know, and really it is because it's, it's for those people that are wanting to do the work, get through it, get the guidance and do it as soon as possible. Yeah. And get it done. They're looking for results and they're willing to do the work. You have to be willing to put in the work. And, you know, furthermore with what you were saying, Jess, the growth structure, all very important. The coach there are so many things going back to your example of ballet, right? Mm -hmm. So when we dance, we dance in a studio in front of a mirror so we can see ourselves. Football players go back and watch recordings of yes. what they did on the yes. field because you cannot physically see it yourself. You have blinders on, you have blocks. There are things we don't do. I actually have a good girlfriend of mine that I trust to give me the good criticism and to be fair to both sides and not just be like, yeah, forget him, run away to Mexico. Let's never talk to him right. again. Right. Yeah. And I'll call and vent to her and she'll say every time, okay, I see you. I hear you. Right. She'll listen to me. Then she also says, what do you think you could be doing differently? What is your part in this? And she gives me her opinion from an unbiased third party of what she's seeing that I cannot see. She's like, well, yeah, maybe you did really get upset about that, but you also are a little bit insecure about that. That's a big thing for you. You know, that might not bother somebody else. And he loves you, and I doubt he would intentionally ever say something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So to have that other perspective is so powerful. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really, really important in a coach because – Let's be honest, how many of us girlfriends have other women like that? They're going to hold them accountable and be that unbiased person. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was telling a girlfriend the other day, the only reason why I'm not a big fan of a lot of moms groups I've been to is because they come together to do what they call commiserate. And it's basically where they sit and vent and just talk about their problems. Great. We need to talk about our problems. We need to feel our emotions. We just can't live there. Yeah. You got to mm -hmm. process it and let it go, and find forward. a solution yes. and have a new way of being mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a totally different approach to, to go and actually be proactive about the changes that you want to make Absolutely. and to be efficient about those changes. And here's the thing. Most struggle in relationship, divorce, and even settling or depression, it all stems from two things happening. Number one is that your model is, is outside your not your reality, your current reality does not match the model that you envisioned or that you have for yourself. So what you um, really wanted from life or relationship or love, you have that, that idea, right? Or expectation, right? Expectation, yes. And then your reality is not matching that. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the first thing. And then the second thing is that you feel helpless mm -hmm. to achieving that. Right. And that's what sends people into depression. That sends the people into divorce and struggle and everything else, right? It's those two things. It's really yeah. as simple as that if you were to boil it down. Mm -hmm. So then the answer has to be the opposite of those two things, mm -hmm. right? So you have to, if you really want to be successful, you need to have a, a new model to be given to you, right. right? So a new, number one would be that new model. So part of that would be, um, healing the pain and the old conditioned thoughts and beliefs that mm. are not serving you, yeah, that are go. getting in the way that have become struggles and roadblocks and pain points and triggers in your relationship, mm -hmm. right? So we've got to heal that. That's, that's step one, okay, to change that, um, you know, to help you step into a more powerful model. And then two is to obviously be given that model by a mentor that 
is walking the walk, talking yeah. the talk, yeah, and willing absolutely. to show you into their world, you know? Um, so that's the first step. And then the other step is to empower you so that to show you how you're not helpless. You know, one of the things that um, I teach, obviously, in my program, which we mentioned it a little bit, is that uh, if you want to create change in your relationship, mm -hmm. you have to start first with yourself. 100%. With your domain. Ugh. And so if your coach can give you that step-by-step um, -step approach, to number one, start working in your own domain. And let's actually look at the key things that are going wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, so I work with um, men and women couples, but mostly I specialize working with women. And we have we have a set of strengths that yeah. are untapped and lying dormant inside of us that could propel our relationship that are really meant to propel our relationship mm -hmm. into that vision that we have for ourselves and secondly is we also have been conditioned um culturally to have a set of weaknesses and things that we tend to fall into that keep us trapped, keep our roadblocks happening, keeping these painful patterns happening. So if we just go and address those things specifically and uh, and just overcome and transcend them, mm -hmm. then we're so much more powerful. Yeah. And then if we do the opposite, we start to develop those strengths that have been lying dormant, then we're even more powerful. And this is how we can affect the change in our relationship. And most of this stuff happens in our own domain, right? Can I say amen? Can I just like, yes. like amen, sister? Because <laughs> seriously, I'm just, I think you can feel my energy. I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. I'm just loving everything that you're saying. I love that you touched on what happens if they don't do that, right? Because something else I learned during our time when we were originally working together is if you become a victim and blame others for your lack of happiness and you just get divorced or leave that relationship, you will eventually drag those same pains and um, same wounds into the next relationship. Yes. You'll get out of that first, you know, six, seven month to year long, like honeymoon stage where everyone's on their best behavior and that's your favorite person and you found the right one. Mm -hmm. And then all of your wounds start showing right yep, back up. Absolutely. Every time. And you every have all the work time. to do still. Yes. Because you refuse to do it. And actually that reminds me of you because <laughs> I remember early on in our work when we first started you did that right yep. mm -hmm. and then you're like oh I'm in the honeymoon I feel so great and I'm like yeah. girl it's gonna cut it's gonna happen yeah I just saw and the look sure on your face enough, <laughs> sure enough like two two or I don't know how many years two later or, yeah. you call me you're like okay I need help yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah and I'm like okay you ready to do this yes you know. because you'll notice patterns and look for them look for those patterns in your life when things are coming up they're there to serve you yes you know, we're hardwired with these with these alarm systems and this roadmap in our body and this internal compass that tells us to look for these things. And when we pay attention to our behaviors and the same mistakes that we're repeating, you know, the same type of relationships we're attracting or finding ourselves in, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're the only ones responsible for it. Yeah, the common Always. denominator is me. Right? Always, right, yeah. <laughs> so let me get some humility, some huge doses, because yeah. while what their behavior is, is unthoughtful, yes, we're not negating that, mm -hmm. but I'm also attracting this person and their energy into my life right. because of stuff that's inside of me. Right. And there's things that I am doing that if I were to take responsibility for them and change them, mm -hmm. even this person that has their wounds, I would positively have a have an effect on them. You know, they would Absolutely. react and I could hold space for them to help them grow and to come into the best that they want to be as well. Right. And you know, a really like a way I like to boil that down. So for, you know, our listeners that don't know, I run a very large team of a couple thousand in doTERRA, um, 13 states, five countries, like mm -hmm. pretty massive. Right? right. And it's basically my job to inspire people and motivate them and help them and coach them to get to where they want to be. But the thing that we find, the issue, is that you can never force anyone to do anything. You can't fear them into it. You can't make them do it. The only way people actually change is where they're inspired because they see you leading by example. Yes, absolutely. That's true for our relationships. Yes, and so if we raise our vibration, our energy, the, if we become the best version of ourselves, mm -hmm. then and only then mm -hmm. can we have an effect on the person that surrounds us yeah. the most, yeah. that, that person. And we can 
help uplift them. It's energetic. It's like a magnet. You know, it's like if I if I shift my magnet up higher over here, the one that I'm connected to is going to have to shift as well. Yes. You know, and that's how it happens. But we can't nag them into it. We can't demand them into it or anything else like that. So, okay. So we're going to take our second break. And after the break, we're just going to give a few solid pointers, just kind of round yeah. up everything and make it easy and digestible. Okay. So this thriving relationships, and we'll be right back. If you'd like to take your business up a notch, take a look at Elite Magazine. Linda and Mo Hafizi, owners of our Valley's two leading magazines, the Magazine of Santa Clarita and Elite. I'm so proud of Elite. It allows your advertisement to stand out. We distribute Elite to 50,000 homes and businesses. You'll find us in 1,900 local hotel rooms. Discover how Elite Magazine can help your business. Call 294 294- 4444. Superior quality is second nature to us. Just ask our advertisers. It's no secret that heavy duty cleaning chemicals can be toxic for babies, pets, and even adults. Eco Green Clean SEV can put your worries at ease. Eco Green Clean SEV only uses organic, environmentally friendly products, reducing the risk of health issues for any age. Eco Green Cleaners use essential oils that lend to aromatherapeutic benefits. Eco Cleaners are reliable, thorough, and all cleanings are guaranteed. Locally owned and operated by a single mom who started this organic business five years ago. For more information or to book a cleaning, call 993-9136. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one advanced audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. Pure Births Pregnancy and Wellness is Santa Clarita's newest birth center, offering holistic prenatal care, water births, labor and delivery, and postpartum care. Owned and operated by California Medical Board licensed midwife Tiffany Gallo, who has been serving expected families in the SCV for over a decade. Pure Births is also a medical birth center. If you want to experience a natural birth with the freedom to birth your way in a safe and professional environment, contact Pure Births on Tournament Road near McBean, purebirths.com. When you feel like you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on, because a quality relationship will bring the most meaning to your life. No matter how hard it feels right now, this is your opportunity to grow every part of who you are and bring the best of what you've got to the table. No one wants to spend their life alone. Make this one count. It takes effort and dedication, but you're capable. Visit jessicahartley.com slash program. 98.1 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Welcome to Thriving Relationships with Jessica Hartley. The following is paid programming and does not necessarily reflect the opinions of KHS or its ownership. Welcome back to Thriving Relationships with Jessica Hartley. So just to sum things up, right? Yeah. So venting alone will not save your relationship. Yeah. And the most, the best thing that you could do is don't wait until it's absolutely you're reactive. You're on the last straw. If you notice pain patterns, if you don't have that model, reach out for help. Uh, most people don't realize that the struggles in their relationship are there to serve them. It is their opportunity for growth. And most people don't realize that in, when you do reach out for help, you need a growth structure. We need a structure that is going to um, give us the feedback, the uh, action steps, the questions and answers, the guidance, and the tangible tools. And if we don't have that, then it's going to draw the process out for years and years and years. And if we do have that, we have the best chances of being successful in, in helping to not only just save us from divorce or reignite our relationship, but to actually maintain the model that we have for ourselves and so that we could be the best that we want to be. The most important thing is that if we want to have 
a positive model of love, if we want to be successful, is number one is that we have to find in the help that we're looking for, that that model. We have to have a structure that is going to give us that growth and the integration of the information that we have. Not just gathering information, not just venting, but actually in integration mm-hmm. of that information. And that happens with those action steps and that, and that growth structure. Um, and we are also going to realize that in order for us to really be effective, we've got to be, take responsibility for our part, you know, and to be able to first work in our domain. Don't focus on the relationship at first. You'll be just digging yourself into a tunnel. Focus on yourself because there's always what you're showing up with that is at the root of the issues in the relationship. And if you heal and change all that and then step forward in your, um, in your highest feminine or masculine form into the relationship, those surface issues that are happening in the relationship will just dissolve. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's really pointless to focus on the relationship, um, until you've given ample time and integration, becoming the version of you that you know yourself to be. And then to focus on the relationship. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't have that model, then it's like, okay, well then how do I also maintain a thriving relationship? So I'm showing up and then now how can I look at this model of relationship? And that's the process. That's the steps that we've got to go from the inside out. And we need that growth structure and we need to take responsibility and we need to make sure that we are, um, following a powerful mentor or model of love. Right. Yeah. So, um, if any, if you guys want to reach out to me, my number is 661-347-8473. You can call or text. You could also contact me via email at connect at jessicahartley.com. And we can go through all of that. You know, I provide a consultation at first, and then we can um, just dive into what's going on and where to, um, where to, f- to give you some really solid next steps as to what is the path for you to move through this and to really get a handle on on it and to really make a difference. Um, and so Samantha, for you, if anyone wants to connect uh, with you, what is the best way to reach you? So, um, a couple of ways, um, if you are looking for, um, physical tools, right? The, the things that we talk about, like with the book and the essential oils, then you would contact me directly, um, at doTERRA freedom at outlook.com. And my number is on all my platforms as well. 661-618-5729. And if you're looking for birth work, you can visit my website. That's groundedmamas, M-A-M-A-S dot com. And same phone number for that as well. Okay, beautiful. Thank you again so much for coming in. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's always a pleasure. And I, I, I really loved having your perspective, having gone through the program, having yeah. done um, enormous amount of work and being the high achiever that you are, having you, all this success that you're having right now in your life. It's really, Thank really you. admirable, really beautiful. Thank you. And honestly, if it weren't for active work that I'm continuing to do on myself all the time, I wouldn't have the physical results on the outside at all. It all mm-hmm. It's all inside, always. Mm-hmm. Yes, always. Everything is here to serve us. The struggles that we face are our opportunities for growth. Life happens for you, yeah. not to you. Yeah. And it's a choice, right? Yes. It's it's always a choice. It's a perspective. So let's really uplift our relationships and let's get the results that we're looking for. Mm, I love that so much. Well, if you guys are looking for somebody to work with, she's your gal. And, um, and I just, I really encourage everyone listening to do the, to ask themselves that, how do I change this situation? Take control, do something about it. Don't be a victim because you deserve all the happiness you were created to have. Yes. Thank you so much, Samantha. This is Thriving Relationships, and we'll be here next week at 12 p.m. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.